Bridge is the dental jargon term for a fixed dental prosthesis in which at least two teeth are fitted with a crown and then connected with one or two links. Here you see a three-unit bridge. In the upper left corner, in this case the structure is made of gold. In the center, you can see an illustration of how the gap in the teeth is closed with this bridge. Below it, you can see the bridge as it's seen from the outside. Normally, the pontic is bounded on the left and on the right by teeth serving as abutments. Sometimes, overhanging bridges are made. For example, in cases where two neighboring teeth are blocked and an end link is left hanging over. Such constructions can be legitimate if they are prepared towards the front, meaning away from the jaw joint, and with no more than one tooth as the overhanging link. Towards the rear or towards the jaw joint, for example as a replacement for a molar, such bridges do not make sense. The highest chewing pressures are found in the posterior region, as you would with scissors. This is the reason why molars have such massive roots. The high chewing pressures act on the overhanging link, and in combination with the leverage effect, the abutment teeth are exposed to severe stress. Bone resorption and damage to the teeth over a number of years can be the result. Also, bridges should not be constructed with spans that are too long. This too leads to excessive stress on the abutment tooth and thus to the loss of teeth, in most cases years later. More and more, the trend is towards creating realistic reconstructions. Thus, gaps in the teeth are more and more frequently closed with artificial dental roots or implants. A blocking of teeth, as in the classic bridge, is less and less necessary. More can be found on this topic by viewing the video called Implants. There can be huge differences in the execution of bridges, more specifically in the way teeth are cut. That's why some bridges last 30 or more years, while others last only a couple of years. A good bridge doesn't cause any inflammation and or recession of the gums, if it's not recognizable and lasts for several decades. Even if the bridge has to be replaced at some point in time, the tooth stumps underneath should still be fine.